Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be uh, about making stamps and finding stamps in your household and in your whatever dollar stores and thrift stores and other frugal crafting uh, tutorial. Uh, basically, uh, like I've told you when I've done the video about stencil, two, three years ago I, I've started uh, with all this mixed media and art journaling and I've come by it by, ex by an accident just a uh, few YouTube and I didn't have any stencils I didn't have any stamps so I had to get creative basically uh, everything that is uh, from uh, foam fun foam, craft foam, silicone plastics uh, is great uh, for stamps and there are things that are like already made you don't have to do anything you just need to uh, look around and find them like uh, I in my dollar store or it's the equivalent of a dollar store or a pound land and there are all kinds of uh, foam mats I'm guessing it's for lining shelves uh, maybe in a refrigerator and they all have texture so basically uh, i'm taking a part of them and gluing it to another surface to make a stamp now you can uh, do a little step you can do a, a big step whatever works for you now i'm usually uh, doing two uh, of each kind one I will keep like this because sometimes I like to uh, print only partial of the stamp and I will make another one that I will attach to a foam board and then it will give me the whole stamp because it's, uh, it's stiff the foam board uh, I'm going to show you an example Here it is. Isn't it a nice uh, step for making, uh, adding textures to your work? On a foam board, what I, I usually do, I will glue, uh, it doesn't matter if it's this or uh, some uh, craft foam, I will cut it and glue it down with silicone glue. Silicone glue, what I have it says some local brand but silicone glue uh, it's like uh, the Yuhu uh, Yuhu glue that come uh, in tubes here we go and it goes here now I didn't uh, cut it really uh, to the exact size I'm just demonstrating here uh, if I really want uh, to make it uh, even easier to work with I'm buying this kind of stuff also from the dollar store it's very cheap and I will take one of these uh, how, how do they call uh, are called I think uh, soldiers for games board games and I will glue it down uh, with the silicone glue of course you, know, you need to let it dry and now you have a, a ready stamp here is one another one is uh, this is also some kind of uh, I don't know foam uh, for shells and it, it gives a lovely uh, print here we go now when I'm doing the stamps, uh, sometimes I will put them on a, a foam board like I showed you here and sometimes I have, this is also from the dollar store, everything I have I think is from the dollar store. This is uh, for children, it's condensed foam and I will just use uh, each side to put uh, another uh, kind of texture stamp. So I will cut it uh, to size 
like this one. I'm doing it. It's not. It won't be exact, but I will trim it down. So I will have one side with this, uh, let's get from this one, another side with this, kind of foam, of course let it dry and you can also use the other sides so it also saves you a uh, space and it's really easy to stamp with it again here nice stamp okay so these are the um, foam mats that i find in the dollar stores there are also I have some uh, it looks like lace but I can't find it right now but basically it's the same as this uh, square one and uh, putting it aside and of course you can do you can cut it to a, any size you want and then you will have another stamp like this one it doesn't have to be a square so you can use even the leftovers. Next in line is the uh, foam, a uh, craft foam and from the kids section of craft. There are uh, all these shapes that you can buy. I, I buy them in the, also the dollar store. They already cut shapes of uh, foam, fun foam, craft foam, however you call it like this another one and again what i will do i will uh, glue them to a piece of a uh, craft foam or another piece of craft foam that will uh, hold them let's see Uh, when I'm doing this kind of stamp, I prefer, if I have uh, enough uh, pieces, I prefer to do it uh, two pieces for one. It's it making a better stamp than only one uh, piece. They have adhesive, so it's great and it, uh, it goes really quickly doing th something like this. Uh, if they ha if you see that the adhesive is not strong enough, just uh, add the uh, silicone glue. Here we go. It doesn't matter the color of the fun foam or craft foam, however you call it. You just use your imagination and put your, the pieces in interesting uh, patterns the great thing with a uh, craft foam is the, uh, you can uh, stamp uh, it with the uh, ink pens or with acrylics uh, acrylics i'm usually uh, using my finger but you can also use a brush uh, let's see here we go Isn't it nice? I made a stamp in two seconds. Here we go. And of course, you can attach also here another uh, toy soldier. 
if you want it to be like this one and another thing another option is to uh, put uh, the pieces on another craft foam so it will be flexible and you can print it uh, however you want you don't have to use the whole thing let's see Okay, so I'm not going to do um, uh, all of them, but here it is. We are going. I'm going to use this time an ink pad. And here we go. So it just depends on your imagination how you place everything and making your stamps uh, this is uh, one uh, let's move it aside here is another uh, examples of uh, craft foam that already comes a uh, cut so you can have a, a butterfly a flower uh, and you can use all this to make stamps. Here is leaf, uh, leaf. Let's see. Now, I don't know if you have it, but I found also in my dollar store this craft foam. It's made out of uh, little uh, circles that already cut here. And I'm using it uh, all the time to make abstract uh, stamps by placing these little dots in whatever configuration I like now uh, from experience it's better whatever you want to make it's better if uh, your elements are close together because if you are using acrylics uh, to stamp it's better that you don't have a lot of space between the shapes so the uh, paint is, uh, won't sit uh, in between the, the spaces so you can see I can make whatever I want with these dots I hope you can find something like that uh, and here we go just some abstract kind of stamp here we go again acrylic paint Here we go okay so this is uh, about the craft foam another thing uh, I'm when I'm finishing this uh, kind of uh, make uh, using all the dots you are left with this which is also a great stamp for backgrounds and make uh, adding texture to whatever uh, project you are working on Here we go. You see? 
it's really nice so uh, keep looking around for stuff like that um, there, uh, uh, and in the kids uh, craft there is also all kinds of plastic pieces that imitates this is uh, like Lego but bigger a uh, piece so you can have the other side for the squares and you have this for the dots another piece that can be interesting as a stamp and this all this is all cheap things that uh, I find in the dollar store and they are interesting enough to make into a stamp So this is uh, from the kids stuff and when you look around you you will find a lot of things that can make everything basically everything can make a print and and be a stamp this is girls if you have kids you have girls in the house I raised two ninjas so I already all all the time I had to have this uh, bandages and uh, uh, band-aids and this is great for crafting uh, to making layers but it also great as a stamp as you can see I'm taking a little piece of piece of it putting on the ink pad and look at it I hope you can see it I will uh, try to take it closer to the camera Here we go. Another thing, like I wanted, um, I really wanted a stamp that uh, will look like cracks. And wherever I looked for, it was very expensive. And I'm not naming the brand names. And I was uh, racking my brains to <laughs> find a way to make a stamp that uh, will look like uh, cracks and what I did find out after uh, several uh, tries is that you can use any packaging uh, like this uh, cellophane and you just print on it like this let's take another acrylic paint here and I'm dipping it it won't be perfect but it will be interesting it's another thing to add texture to your work another layer here it is so it just it was just some uh, packaging and I can wrinkle it again and make another print out of it it won't be similar to the last one here it is so basically this is it another thing silicone silicone is great for stamping uh, if you I find it to, I have luck and I find it also in my dollar store Silicone mats, all these are making great prints and basically you can, if you are into a uh, jelly printing, it also works great on the jelly plate. Here we go. Look, isn't it beautiful? And I can always decide how many I'm going to uh, ink with my ink pad and print like this. Another one. Here 
here we go next in line I've got here two uh, designs so I can use this It works great with acrylics also not only with ink pads so even if you don't have ink pads you can use this now uh, also uh, from uh, another thing with silicone coasters and heat I think heat mats or whatever you are supposed to put um, uh, hot stuff on it so this is and these are great I love these things because I also use them as a stencil and you can achieve great uh, designs with it I'm uh, bringing uh, here let's see a uh, spray paint so you can see what I'm talking about here we go And now, this is a stencil, this is a stamp, and you can work with it with acrylics and with the ink pad. So here is another thing that you can find uh, in uh, household items and dollar stores. And next thing. Plastic uh, packaging, uh, plastic packaging for cookies, for, uh, I don't know, we got uh, our meat, ground meat or uh, poultry in this kind, uh, frozen in this kind of packaging. And here I have dots, uh, this kind of uh, pattern, and all these are great stamps. I can stamp it with the ink pad and here we go another one great packaging uh, you have uh, also in a uh, cookies cookies always come with some kind of plastic packaging that has great great print so look for it and here are more uh, silicone mats I'm not sure this is uh, what this is but it's from silicone it was I bought it uh, in the dollar store and it was in the baking aisle here we go isn't it a great stamp also another mat from silicone uh, if we're talking stencils I have forgotten the last video to show you another thing another example this ones uh, these plastics came from uh, a box that held uh, cheese and you are, it comes like this the cheese is uh, lying on this and you are supposed to lift it up and uh, when we are finished with the cheese it's great to use it as a stencil I will just take out these handles and it's a great stencil ah, I will take another one So here it is, it's a stencil, I can also flip it over and try to get some print out of it. So you have stamps all around you, you just need to look for them 
Uh, this packaging, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like a spider's web. And it works great with acrylics and with uh, ink pads. Another mat that can be used as, an, uh, as a stencil and as a stamp. There you go. What else? Uh, another thing. Look uh, under your shoes. Look at the soles of your shoes. I bet you you will find a great pattern to use. Especially flip flops. They are all decorated and under there. So go and just flip your shoes and find it and another idea i just keep forgetting to show you uh, things uh, maybe use this kind of thing it's like crochet but it's synthetic it was bought also in the dollar store and it's good it's great as a stencil and what else do I have? Um, basically, lace is great for printing. It, it makes uh, great designs. And what else? Of course, toilet paper roll. You can use it as a circle to print and you can use it like a leaf by just squishing it. So everything ha makes a print you just need to look for it around you it, do it doesn't have to uh, cost a lot of money of course it's nice to have all the fancy uh, uh, clear silicone stamps but you can find your own stamps and make your own stamps i basically uh, make my own a lot i'm going to show you a few examples um, these are, I found a uh, craft uh, foam letters and just glued them so I will have a stamp of letters. And here are the already made butterflies that this ones I made just by uh, drawing my uh, the design on uh, the craft foam and cutting it and uh, cutting it and gluing it for, to another piece uh, what else of course spirals I love sp uh, them harlequin stamp I've talked uh, about it with uh, one of the subscribers I don't remember now uh, her name uh, which one I have talked with it with about it it's very easy to make a harlequin stamp you don't have to uh, uh, to buy an, exp an expensive already made stamp. You just need a strip of the craft foam and basically make diamond shapes like this. And now I will just need to glue it to another craft uh, foam I'm peeling this using the adhesive and you can do uh, it make it in any size you want for this example I will do only this free As you can see, it's, I've done it really quickly. Uh, where is my ink pad? Okay. Haven't. Uh, I can do it more, but here we go. 
Harley Quinn stamp. So you can do any size, any uh, way you want it. And you can put it on a foam board like this, or you can put it on another piece of craft foam and then you can stamp partial prints if you want, or all of them, like this. So this is the Harlequin stamp. Let's see other ideas. Another uh, way to make a, a stamp is uh, taking stickers uh, and putting them on the craft foam. Uh, these are already uh, made stickers that I had uh, of uh, numbers and letters. And this I have made a, a video about how to make it from a string and these are basically uh, ones that I just uh, cut and made for myself here we go use your imagination in another one of uh, Halloween but bigger that I wanted so basically here is a when i wanted a brick brick wall i just uh, took another phone where is <laughs> it's getting uh, really crowded here another strip of the craft foam and i just went uh, round corners and uh, just made it so it won't be uh, with straight lines and then I glued it the pieces to another craft foam and now I have a stamp of bricks here we go another one here is one with the uh, dots that I showed you it's like a wave I use it a lot a very simple one with the uh, forgot the name like always my words just disappearing on me uh, another easy stamp and very useful I use it a lot here is the stamp uh, that came out from the dots that were rem removed another one that would will look like a beehive so you can do many many 